Hey, Dave the Butterfly Guy here out in my backyard in my butterfly habitat. So I wanted to talk to you today about saving the monarch butterfly and what we can do. And then also give you an update on how did the monarch do over the winter of 2020. You know, every year the World Wildlife Fund of Mexico goes out and counts the amount of acres and hectares of monarch butterflies that have migrated to Mexico and they estimate how many monarchs are around. So I'm going to give you an update of how the monarch's doing in 2020 in the winter versus 2019 and see if all the hard work we're trying to do to create more habitat for monarchs is paying off. So, but before we jump into that, let's first talk about a couple of things you can do to help protect and save the monarch butterfly. All right, so what can we do to help the monarch butterfly? How can we help save the monarch? There's a couple of really easy things you can do. The first one is to plant milkweed. Milkweed's the host plant for monarch butterflies. They lay their eggs on the leaves. When the caterpillar is born, it will eat the leaves of the milkweed. And then when the flowers pollinate, monarchs will gravitate to those flowers. There's a couple kinds of milkweeds I recommend for northern climates. The first one is the butterfly weed, although now they call it butterfly flower in the garden centers. But butterfly weed has these beautiful orange flowers that uh, monarchs are really attracted to. The next kind of milkweed I recommend is the common milkweed. Really easy to grow, easy to get your hands on some free seeds, but again, it's a great host plant for the monarch butterfly. The other thing we can do is plant pollinating flowers, and I'm gonna to talk to you about a couple of my favorite perennials and my favorite annuals. So my two favorite perennials are the purple coneflower, which monarchs love, along with all kinds of other butterflies. The other perennial that comes back year after year that's great for monarchs is phlox plants. Again, they come in these little clusters of flowers, lots of different colors, pinks and purples, and are great for any butterfly garden. In terms of annuals, a couple of my favorites are the cosmos, which again come in pinks and purples, and then the all-time butterfly attractor is zinnias. Zinnias bring in all kinds of butterflies, swallowtails, monarchs. They're just fabulous and should be in every butterfly garden. So how did the monarch do in the winter of 2020? As you may know, monarchs migrate to Mexico in the winter. And the World Wildlife Fund of Mexico goes out and counts how many acres of monarchs there are and they also measure it in hectares, which is about 2.5 acres. And based on how many hectares there are, they can estimate how many monarch butterflies are around. And you can see by this chart, in 2019-20 in the winter, there was 2.83 hectares. That's actually a 53% decline from 2018-19 when there was over six hectares. And it's almost an 85% decline from 1996 and 90, 1997 when there was over 18 hectares. So you can see there's been this tremendous decline in monarch butterflies. In each hectare, they estimate that there's 40 to 50 million monarch butterflies, which is a crazy amount of butterflies. But also think about how many butterflies you lose with each hectare loss in the wintering migration areas. Just last year, over 175 million butterflies less. And then if you compare it to 96, 97, it's over 700 million fewer butterflies in Mexico overwintering than it was in 2020. So we still have some serious issues. So there's a lot of reasons why there's a decline in monarch butterflies. Habitat is probably the biggest one, the loss of habitat. And we can help with planting milkweed and pollinating flowers with that. But also weather and the climate change has a lot to do with things. And then lastly, some deforestation issues in the Mexico migration areas has also been a huge issue.
So Dave the butterfly guy, that's all I've got today. Keep doing what you can to help protect and save the monarch butterfly. It all starts with milkweed. Plant some milkweed, plant some pollinating flowers. That's all I have today. It's Dave the butterfly guy signing out. Have a great day.